super excited for you to do this review. It's a new Chromaflow pencil set by Derwent. The extended range to 72 they had smaller sets already and this is the biggest set now they came out with um for disclosure this pencil set has been sent to me for free by derwent i haven't been paid to do this review but the pencils have been sent uh, for free free of charge so what i have done so far is swatching them out on both white paper and black paper and we will look at the swatches and compare how they look on both papers. And I will also run through uh, the pros and the cones um, that I found with this set because I want to be as honest as I can. Sometimes people think that a review can be um, you know, slightly dishonest when a product is being sent for free uh, because you feel, you know, you kind of want to do a good review for the company. But um, I will try to still stay as honest as I can be. So before we start looking into the swatches, um, this set is also available in a 12 24, 36 and 48. The biggest set is this one which is a 72. This time you will notice compared to the previous sets of 72 what they have done is they created a smaller tin uh, which has three um, layers here of pencils and it's in my opinion, it's easier to navigate in a smaller space. So if you are someone who has a small studio apartment or a small table to work on, then this is a plus, um, in my opinion, because, you know, it just takes less space. One of the first questions that you probably will have uh, regarding this Chromaflow um, pencil set is whether they are light fast. So they have been designed um, to use for fun. So things like coloring books and drawing in your sketchbooks, that sort of a thing. They have been designed with good quality in mind. So it's not um, just the craft pencil. It is still a high quality pencil. However, it is not designed for an artist who will sell their original work, if that makes sense. So they are light fast to some degree, but they're not 100% light fast. And so it wouldn't be for an artist who is looking to sell their artwork. Unless, of course, uh, you know, the artist will be selling copies etc that of course then doesn't matter but for original artwork these are not your um, pencils however in terms of the light fastness they are I will just read out the light fast information that has been provided to me and it says that Derwent Chromaflow are 60% light fast across 72 colors so the light fast rating um, is from A6 which is good and then runs through 7 which is very good and up to 8 which is excellent. So um, they seem to be 60% light fast which is great uh, but like I said not 100% so they are light fast to, to a certain degree. So you can be confident that the pencil will last uh, long enough if you are not uh, putting it into sunshine or planning to to sell original artwork they are manufactured in uk so that gives you a stamp of good quality are these oil or wax based they are a wax based pencil which brings me to the next point they are beautifully vibrant and very smooth and the lay down is great and that um, sort of comes usually from wax based uh, pencils and I personally prefer working with wax based pencils. The pencil core is 3.5 millimeters if you need to know. The core has been also designed to withstand a lot a lot of pressure so if you're someone who loves a lot of pressure when it comes to pencils 
like myself, then you can be certain that the core will not be breaking off easily, which also, of course, means that when it comes to sharpening, they will sharpen nicely. And for something like coloring art, um, that obviously happens very often, sharpening and a lot of pressure. So that provides you um, confidence of enjoying what you're doing with them rather than worrying about breakage. These pencils will be available to buy in singles. Uh, I'm not sure when exactly yet, but um, if you would buy a big set and run out of uh, a few colors faster than others, you could then repurchase those colors. Okay, so let's look at the colors. So we have a beautiful arrangement of yellows, then oranges and pinks. And here they are. So now are these colors and then on black, this is what they look like. And maybe I'll try to show you somehow side by side. So that's that. You can see some colors really pop on the black. So they again have been designed in mind uh, with working on black paper. Um, the pigment is quite saturated, so they are vibrant and highly pigmented. Which is again what makes them a great coloring book pencil look at those colors some of them really really pop so these colors and the ones above and then the blues at the end right here I'll give you a close-up of these colors if you really like some of them and wanted to write them down so here I have messed up the order so this pencil the periwinkle was supposed to go before the blue so you'll see that on this swatch so here that is this one and then the rest is the correct order and then let me show you them in the pencil i will i will shortly um Kind of highlight my pros and cons as well and explain why this pencil is so short and then we have the greens so these are these beautiful colors greens and neutrals so let's see like that. This is such a beautiful color. All of the turquoises I always love. And then these ones. And finally we have the neutrals and the grays. So the neutrals and the grays. Lovely browns. And we also have a silver and a gold, which you can see reflected on the black. Both of them look stunning. And in my opinion, the silver still looks good on white paper, but the gold definitely looks better on black. The gold has been designed to be used on black paper. So let me give you a close up of these colors. This is a white. So as you can see, or as you could see, in this set there were um, a few pastels that really popped on the black paper, uh, which is great. Uh, you can see 
some of them really have a strong, strong color lay. And there are quite a few here. So this is the white. Um, there are quite a few which have a bit of that uh, white theme going on. If you remember the light fast pencils, um, where there is in every color group there is one color that is the pastel version of it. So there would be like a cream color, a blue, pink, etc. Similar to that, we have the same going on here. So on the white, you can see it quite well. So this is the kind of a creamy white version. Um, it's like a tinted white, I'd say, and a pink version, a blue version, a purple version, a green, like a sort of a minty version, and some beige, and of course the grey and the white. Um, when it when these colors are on white paper, they have a bit more color to them, so they look slightly darker and perhaps not as white, but still they're definitely the pastel colors. I found when doing these swatches, I found that the color grips really nicely to the paper, so the lay down is very beautiful. It um, is quite smooth and I always like to say battery. Um, it's, it basically just glides over the paper nicely. It wants to stick to it and that creates a very vibrant um, color lay down. In terms of color choice, I think within the 72, there aren't any colors that are redundant. Um, and no colors that are too similar. So there's a good range of colors and definitely a big, big range of different grays. Um, so yeah, loads of everything really. If it was up to me, I would add some sort of a blue toned pink here, but that probably is just my, my love for, for a cool toned pink. And um, another thing that I thought is quite fun about this set um, are the names. So the names really represent a playfulness that comes with these pencils. And so we have things like Parmesan, we have Sunflower, Mango, Melon. Uh, what else do we have? That's kind of delicious sounding. Strawberry, well, strawberry we have in other colors as well, in other lines and ranges. Um, hot pink, ultra pink, orchid. Um, I guess you get the idea. Cactus, tropical rain, pear, blue orchid, periwinkle, denim. So it's they're, they're nice and fun to remember. And just, you know, when, when art doesn't need to be serious and you just want to have fun with it, that's, I feel the, the names of these pencils kind of uh, mimic that mood, really. Okay, so these are all the positives and let's move now to cones. And I really don't have that many. I just have a um, couple of things to, um, to mention. So on black paper, I had no problems whatsoever. Uh, all the colors, in terms of colors, all the colors uh, look beautiful. Like I said before, some of them pop more than others, but no issues whatsoever. When it comes to the swatches on the white paper, there were just a couple of colors where um, I felt uh, there was something with the pigment, uh, perhaps not being mixed in very well, but that's just uh, my kind of theory. I, I don't know what actually happened here, but the citrus yellow was giving me these sort of green, um, I don't know if you can, yeah, there you can see, kind of green smudges. And there was definitely nothing on the tip of the pencil because I later tried to do it again. And this time I had green and even some orange come through. So it looked like 
citrus yellow had some pigments in there that weren't mixed in uh, very well. I had similar issue with one, no, actually two more colors. Yes, two more colors. So the lemon lime had a lot of this very similar green that I showed you in the previous color. So this green came through here again. And then we have the uh, brown sugar. And this time there was the brown coming through. So um, I have raised this to Derwent and as the ambassador um, and one of many, many ambassadors that they have, um, you know, our job is to sort of highlight something that we notice so that they can improve in future. So um, that has been taken care of and they're looking into this. So there is uh, nothing to worry about. The final um, sort of um, cone, I'd say, is the two colors. So as you can see, this one is a little bit short. So this is the mango and uh, it was already broken in, in the box and um, when I sharpened it was okay, it didn't break again um, and all of the other pencils except for one which I will mention in a minute um, have a very strong core so when I do my swatches I push a lot, I put a lot of pressure um, onto the core and none of them snipped including this one after being sharpened but like I said it was already broken uh, when it came in the box and let's look at the other color so let me just show you the swatch for mango so mango so mango is this one here and one pencil out of the 72 which proved to be very very difficult is this deep sea and you can see i'm left with a very small deep sea let me show you on the swatch so with the deep sea i actually struggled to do a swatch because it kept breaking Every time I tried to sharpen it, the core just kept snipping off and it was quite, you know, large pieces that were just coming out, coming out. So there was definitely something wrong with this pencil. And again, I have mentioned this to Derwent and they will send me a replacement. And uh, if you somehow will end up with the same situation, if your pencils are um, breaking like this one, or uh, if there is a, you know, a pigment that is not looking um, as it should be on paper, make sure you take pictures and contact their customer services and they're very, very uh, helpful and uh, they will look into it and um, send you a replacement for, for those pencils. So I hope you found this um, review informative and useful. And yeah, that's it for today. I will be doing some sort of artwork with these pencils in a separate video. I didn't want this video to be extremely long, so that will come separately because I have enjoyed the colors. They're very vibrant, they're gorgeous. There's a big um, sort of variety of colors and I can't wait uh, to make my little color palettes and do a bit of art work with it. So thank you for watching once again and I will see you soon.